Good evening everyone. In this video tonight I'd like to read about how to mend a relationship. Yeah, the question is how to mend a relationship, someone asked. I have four tarot card decks in front of me, number one, two, three, and four. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person with whom you'd like to mend a relationship and pick a deck. And take your time, please. Have you chosen? Have you picked? Okay. Let's start with the deck number one, yeah? Okay. <clears throat> this is deck number one. It's the Buddha Tarot. The question is how to mend a relationship. I'm just gonna do a general four card spread. Four cards, yeah. This is the situation of the relationship. Uh, right now, this is the obstacle. Why do you need to mend the relationship? This is the actual advice for you. And this is the, oops, most likely outcome. Okay, card number one, the current situation, it's, um, in this deck it's talking about love and compassion and basically a pretty good situation right now. Well, in my personal meanings it can be also like friendship, sometimes can be an affair. Yeah, well, this is the Hierophant card, the father. So if it's, um, let's say, a romantic relationship, it can be that relationship is um, the one with your husband. Um, a relationship where there has been, like, a third party involved, there has been some sort of, maybe... Um, friendships that shouldn't have been there, friendships that are not traditional, you know, so the situation can be like that, the star, well basically, with well, these cards we can talk about the hope, the hope, well, I would say, actually, you love this person, you love this person, right? And and uh, if something happened, you want to forgive this person, you want to for forgive or you want to, you know, be friends again, you want that good connection again. And there is uh, a sense of you know, hope, wanting to forgive, and there is a sense of spirituality. So I don't know who you're asking about. It can be a teacher, it can be maybe even some sort of a religious person, you know, a very spiritual person with whom you want to mend this relationship. And... Uh, and either you thinking very deeply spiritually, like uh, philosophically, it really from the heart it comes this wish, you know, to better this relationship. Or maybe it can even talk about a marriage, a marriage that, uh, you know, where there has been some maybe third parties or things like that. And... Uh, you you have a hope to basically improve this marriage, improve this relationship. It can be something like that. So what what's the problem? Why do you need to mend this relationship? It's the two of cups, yeah, it's the two of double vadras. 
uh, this card talks about cups so it shows love it shows uh, it can be where's the problem well love relationships friendships maybe you love this person but maybe there has been someone else who you or this person loved before so it can say that the problem is romantic relationships the fact that there has been some something between you and this person look and the lover's card came out what is the problem? the problem can be the person is married because we have here of one, we have lovers, we have two of cups and we have three of cups which can mean third part and hope is just you know can be sometimes very unrealistic hope for this to you know to achieve some sort of peace with this person and yourself the problem yeah and sadness sadness over uh, a love relationship over a person being married or a person having a relationship are you having a relationship, loving the person, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm str really struggling to tell who is uh, having a relationship with whom. But definitely there is a romantic uh, element in this. <clears throat> Advice how to mend the relationship, actually. We have Tara, the Shakti of Double Vajras. So she is like the Queen of Cups. Yeah, she's like the Queen of Cups, basically, you have to be forgiving, you have to be loving, you have to be philosophical, you have to be uh, gentle, you have to be a little bit like a uh, spiritual you. Um, if you're the wife of this person, for example, whom you want to forgive with whom you want this relationship to work out and basically it tells you to be forgiving and um, just loving the person if you love the person it doesn't matter you know this unconditional love is talking now if for example you are the girlfriend the same thing you have to use your unconditional love like the queen of cups is like she is um, she's like uh, altruistic selfless you know and loving sometimes illogical irrational but you know have the future to emperor and two of wands so one meaning here it's basically the fact that you should um, listen to your heart, you should be loving and nice, there should be no any fights, explanations, and trying to prove things to one another. I think here it talks about you being forgiving and nice and choosing the path of non-violence and forgiveness, etc. And also pursuing this idea that you should look at the person as a friend, as a partner, as someone to do things with. And you can still be partners with this person. Uh, so because you love this person and you want to mend the relationship, you become like an emperor. Yeah, you start thinking and acting like an emperor through your left brain. Through your left brain and uh, talk about practical things with this person uh, talk about day-to-day -day things with this person and do things together it doesn't necessarily mean romance but it can be same interests, same hobbies, same goals so uh, shifting your focus from let's say uh, emotional sphere into the more active like doing things together yeah being friendly is still advising you to be with this person and um being very illogical but at the same time being with this person doing things together 
Yeah, it's not running away, not letting go, involving this person, being with this person in your common common goals. How to say? It. Well, shortly can talk about work and studying and things like that. Yeah. <clears throat> and what is the outcome? What will most likely happen? Oh my god, look at this card. It shows the bed. Yeah. It shows sex. So, this might happen between you and this person. Romantic, intimate relationships. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, which talks about the material pleasures including the physical pleasures and the eight of lotuses which is the eight of wands I would say there will be uh, intimate connection, there will be a sexual life uh, connection with this person and there will be communication and everything will happen very passionately and very fast so in a way <clears throat> there will be an opportunity for you to you know to be together and I think you will take this opportunity it doesn't talk about that it will last long and everything like that but the passion will be there you know the intimacy will be there things like that so, yeah, to be honest, how to mend this relationship, just love the person and uh, do things with this person. Uh, try to be around this person and just oh, do stuff together. Well, now the problem is also, I don't know, the problem is... If you're a female, maybe he had an affair, maybe he's married, you want to, to be with him. Something like that. The problem is disappointment because person is with someone else or person was with you but he's not with you. This reading can apply for males as well. So, so the meaning is basically the same if you're a male as well. Love the girl and try to invite her to do things with you maybe go out somewhere um, as friends not necessarily as lovers but it will come out nice <clears throat> okay this was our reading number one let's move on to our reading number two the question is how to mend a relationship? What can I do to mend a relationship? This is Crowley Tarot. We're gonna pull four cards. How to mend a relationship. Situation is the ace of discs yeah situation that you're having now it can be work situation it can be situation where you're looking for the new opportunity to be with this person to possibly mend the relationship but most likely it's a work situation that it's shown here with ace of discs three of wands and the prince of discs like a little bit of a formal business uh, type of environment that you are in. It can talk about you wanting to grow this relationship and you you wondering what to do about this. How to go about this. Okay, so what is the problem here? Well, for once, the completion. Well, the problem here it shows kinda actually very everything very good, very stable in this situation, <clears throat> but uh, there is a sense of completion. And look, the fortune, two wheels, amazing. Um, so 
So definitely opportunity, some sort of opportunity to mend this relationship, to be with this person. I also feel like completion. Maybe if you work together, if you did something together, maybe it came to an end. Like the project was successfully completed and now it's time to kind of separate or something like that. Also the problem can be some sort of change separation or some sort of change maybe you had a fight with him or something happened at work that the person is leaving or something like that and uh, maybe you feel because of that this relationship is gonna suffer or is already suffering now what to do queen of swords well we see a woman who is actually likes truth, telling the truth. So I think it can be you being brave and telling the truth to the person, fighting for this person. It's a travel card. Cups. How to mend this relationship. Well, I feel something has to be decided. Something has to be cut off here. And... Uh, and... The, and again... Like, some, the truth has to be faced. You know, and... The truth has to be told, that sort of thing. And it shows a travel. And but the travel is kind of disappointing. You know, the outcome is kind of disappointing. What to do? You know, from one side, I think it can be like a courage here more like uh, to be brave and to just tell the truth to the person how you feel about things to, to talk about the problems to solve the problems to not be afraid to go on do the things you know confront the person the, the problem and the situation and actually uh, you might succeed in that you know maybe it's scary but it might be that it will come out nice this situation maybe the person will help you or you'll exchange things something like that again it's some I feel a little bit uneasy situation on this one um, I don't even know if it's about love to be honest if it's about love relationship or some other relationship you know uh, maybe it's not even a romantic relationship and a little sensitive where uh, you feel a little stressed out when it comes to facing this person but I think this is not gonna be easy, you know, in this case like you cannot do it without hurting that other person you cannot talk without affecting that other person somehow so the person can un misunderstand you or can get in insulted if you try to talk about a truth, something like that. What will happen? Seven of Wands, Prince of Cups, Princess of Cups. I think everything, uh, whatever conflict is there, it will be worth it, you know. It's worth to confront this person. And maybe somehow something good, good will come out of it. Like maybe the person will feel bad first. But then through that anger, through that, you know, confrontation, there will come out the feelings of love and uh, everything will be fine in the end. It will have a positive outcome. Like you will be able to achieve this mending of relationship in this case. But you have to be honest and you have to be straightforward, I think. And like cut the crap, and just tell the truth, and go on, be brave. And it's like it'll clean itself, you know, through this negativity, it'll 
clean itself and um, in the end you know these cup cards they will come out so basically love will come out if there's any you will basically heal this relationship okay so that's this was our reading number two Now let's have a look at the reading number three. How can you mend a relationship? This can be any relationship, not necessarily romantic. It can be with parents, it can be with a colleague, friends, uh, and as well it can be romantic. So yeah, how to mend this relationship? Okay, so we see a conflict in the beginning. This is the situation. Lovers and look. So we see a breakup here. Basically, in the situation, romantic breakup from romantic partner. And sadness, hard hurts, like rejection can be, things like that problem another woman secrets mysteries things untold things hidden uh, and also communications can be social media can be a secret female on the social media can be uh, some news that you got to know about this person maybe they live together you know, and you got to know about that. It was like a surprise, bad surprise. So some secret was revealed and that caused this big um, breakup or the sadness, you know. Now, advice. Well, this card is um, basically a re-evaluation advice look here clearly talks about children uh, this is a child this is a child uh, basically it shows to reevaluate situation to not rush anywhere to just think about the situation think about the children uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but it could be that um, try and think about children. It will give you power and it will give you energy to move on with this relationship further because of your children. Now, if you're separated from your boyfriend, for example, and you're having children, so and you think that I'm lonely, so the, the cards are saying you have your children, you're not lonely. Yeah, they are there for you, they want to be with you, you know, they are, like, better than your boyfriend, <laughs> you know what I mean. Now, if you're a wife who is, um, let's say, had a problem with his husband cheating or something, with her husband, um, it also says, and you want to leave the husband, it says, think about your children again, think again, you know, about the whole situation. Now, what else? I cannot see anything else except children, to be honest, but of course it can be be positive, think positive, you will overcome this, but I think it's more like children, and of course, don't do any stupid actions here, don't, uh, I think you need to give time for this situation to heal, give the time, don't get angry, don't do anything, don't rush, don't say anything, don't, um, I don't know, just let it go and let it heal on its own time will heal all wounds and um what to do in this situation yeah basically can you mend this relationship? I don't know if you can mend this relationship. But um, 
here maybe you need to sacrifice something, you know, for the children, like, for, like, for others. You need to be a little, like, angel here, like, a little non-human, like, selfless, and think about others um, before you know what to do or, you know. Will you be able to mend this relationship? What will happen? Yes, everything will be okay. Look, we see a new beginning in your family, maybe a new opportunity financial that will make you rich and happy. And this is your family again, children so happy, and you and your partner also happy. And the magician says that, um, you know, you can do it. And basically, I feel like you will follow this advice and it will come out nice in the end. And it will be you who did it. You know, you who created this happy outcome. Through selflessness, through understanding, through unconditional love, through thinking about others, uh, seeing the situation philosophically, not, you know, um, just for what it seems. How to put it? So, yeah. Okay, this was our reading number three. I think uh, these cards are good. And the outcome is good, but a little bit uh, different. Of how to say approach. This is our deck number four. It's the Menciate um, Etruria cards <clears throat> the question is how can you mend a relationship Look, we have this card positivity and also couple situation problem advice outcome Situation is the Knight of Swords. It can be conflicts. It can be uh, extreme intensity, intense situation, conflicts, or even can be being worried about the way things go. Queen of Cups and lovers, amazing. I feel like this is like being in love very strongly, and uh, feelings are just racing. You cannot catch up with thoughts and something like that. Basically, it's like a romantic relationship, but I feel here more like being in love with someone. Now, what is the problem? Look, love. Is this a problem that the person doesn't love you? Or is this a problem that the person has somebody else or is in a relationship? So let's have a look. Eight of Wands. King of Cups. Well, I think the problem is like you're in love with a person and you don't know what to do because it's too overwhelming, yeah? I feel like it's like a crush energy. <laughs> Yeah. What is advice? Well, we have a Sagittarius card. Well, Sagittarius talk uh, talking about uh, the dangers of excessive idealism. And also, he's a little bit um, impatient, you know. He's a little bit likes freedom and likes to... Uh, basically conquer everything he wants to conquer but I think it's saying that you have to sustain from this, from doing this, you know like you want to go and get this person, you know you want to do everything to get this person, anything it takes and you think, what can I do, what, what should I do I can do magic, I can do something to get this person but I think it says it's not that easy and you should um, sustain from doing anything. Like, it shows inaction and passivity. Of course, peace. 
but in action it says uh, this can be a third party relationship the person might be in a relationship you might be in a relationship and uh, because of that it's not advising you to do this it will be too much if you do this it will be so hard to handle So it's uh, asking, I think, to consider um, how to say this person might be like a burden for you. This relationship might be a burden for you. So do you really need it? You know, that sort of thing. Because it says that it's coming, the wish is coming from passion, you know, from like wanting this person. And it's not a situation where it can be a good or bad decision. It's like this and this, there's no right thing to do, no, no right way to go about it. So I think it's asking for you to reconsider this uh, relationship. Wait and think about it. Or postpone at least, any action. What will happen? We have our Page of Swords. Page of Swords. So I think uh, you will be in love with this person. There will be a crush going on in the future as well. And uh, again, it can show some sort of organization or group situation with whom basically you'll, you'll be communicating with a person um, formally. Like uh, maybe you will not show your feelings even. Like at work, you know, like he, you know him from work and you cannot show the feelings to that person, but there'll be feelings. And I feel like it's not going to move forward. Will it move forward? Opportunities will be there, but it will not be uh, what you, it will not, you will not take the opportunity or opportunities will be of financial nature and therefore it will be disappointing for you if you are intending to have a relationship with this person so let's see, can I see this differently? No, no, I think that's it, I mean I feel like this is being in love with someone who is in a relationship and cards advising not to pursue this relationship for now at least because it's not gonna turn out well <sighs> why not well now we have this um knight of coins i think why I'm interested in finances and money and work and you might have misunderstood the person you might have expected from the person something else and he is not expecting that so he might actually say no and because of that um, you know it's gonna be awkward but overall I think the person kind of likes you he's okay but he's like more about work in this one so can you mend the relationship how can you I think here just letting it go, you know, just don't say it to him, don't. Devil card, how can you mend this relationship? You shouldn't mend this relationship. You should basically understand that this is not a good idea to mend this relationship. So, because it's coming from passion, it's coming from the root chakra. <laughs> and because of that... Maybe the relationship is not going to be pure, if I can say like that. So yeah, this was our reading number four. And um, please leave in the comments how did this resonate. Uh, it's very interesting to read for me because I don't have any idea how this worked without any feedback, right? So, thank you for watching this and have a great night. Bye-bye.